Okay, yes, I know this engine looks so cool because it's half fucked and half not fucked. As you can see from this. So, you know, there's a few things missing in the car. But we don't really care, do we? All we care is that it runs. And it runs like crap, but it runs. Now, this engine, no. No, we're not doing anything to that today. Well, what we're doing is we're getting a car, restoring it, and then, in the next episode, we're going to be doing some modifications to that car. So, we're not going to car auctions, and we're not going to car salons, and we're also not going to the junkyard. We're going to a barn find, so I have no clue what we're going to find in there. So, yes. Okay. So I got this vehicle, let's just see what we find around here. Oh. That thing looks nice. Except for the engine being bad. Hmm. Thing looks okay. I don't think it's gonna start though, so let's just try it. Yeah, it won't even turn over. Worth a shot though. See, let's check this junk pile right here. Nothing of interest, almost everything in here is bad. Check this pile of stuff. Ford Focus RS bumper. Well, Nothing in here of interest. Check this. Nothing in here of interest either. But, this thing... Probably won't start, but we can try. Nope. Wonder if it's like a fuel filter thing. Okay, right, not fuel filter, but uh... Also, the differential screwed. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty messed up. And this right here is the Ford Focus RS. Surprisingly, I found a bumper for it over there. So I guess, uh... The interesting thing is that this is an old car, so... We want to try to find an old car and restore it. We don't want to find some old rusted Ford Focus RS and fix it. Yeah, I don't know what had to happen to this car. This came, this car came out in 2016. I don't understand how it's already so messed up. So, where are they going for this car? Or this car? Hmm. I think this is, uh... Let's see if this does the year of this car. This car is 30... 387,000 miles on this car. Doesn't say the year, though. Let's check how many miles are on this car. 464. Holy crap. And I wonder about this. Yeah, only eight. Um, 18,000 miles. Classic. 18,000 miles and this car's already fucked. So, this car does look more interesting. Buying this car for 22000 Okay, so, I'm gonna come back for this car sometime soon. So, let's leave the garage. The first thing I do want to test is if I can actually try to get this engine just running enough to start it and if I can see how little horsepower it makes so I'll just do that off camera for a minute but uh real quick let's do the compression tester engine needs to be complete to per perform this action okay so I will just uh, complete this engine real quick and here's the last part that I need put on the complete the engine I do believe so let's just take this back to garage and turn it's A 
And let's walk over to it and get stuck on a pole. And let's see, so car status. Wonder if this thing is complete or not. Because it should be. Let's check the dipstick. No oil. Let's add some oil real quick then. We'll see if it starts off this. Hopefully it will start. Um, but let's just do the compression test. So the engine is fully assembled right now. Compression seems kind of low, so oh god. Cylinder's probably screwed. Yep, as expecting. So let's see if this thing, uh, since I've done a few things to it, let's see if it starts. Ah, it does start. So it at least starts now. So now let's do the process of taking this whole engine apart. So, this may or may not be a slightly long process, but who knows. And let's get that off. Water pump pulley. Here's a new fuel filter that I put on. Ignition wires. You gotta take this thing off too. And you can see all this stuff right here is new. And this thing was running off two crappy carburetors. So, um, yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, let's take this over to the dyno. So, take it over there. Okay, it's over in the dyno now. And so let's just start up the dyno. And from factory, it made 306 horsepower. Um, there's only a few new parts on this car, so I'm going to assume it won't do nearly that much. Maybe 250? Somewhere in there. 50 horsepower, maybe lost. Let's do What? Holy Jesus. Stop the hostiles from What is that? What is that? Holy crap, 123. This engine isn't running it that good, is it? No, it's not. Holy crap, though. It's over 60% of power that this engine has lost. That's just about 60% of what this whole engine has lost its power since brand new. Well, we're going to be fixing that. So now that we're back here, we're going to start taking this whole engine apart without being interrupted by myself. So now we just need to take this whole rusty piece of manifold off and now we need to take off this other clip over here ah there we go got that finally stupid little thing got it out of my way ignition distributor i know that some cars actually have two ignition distributors uh because apparently they can't run it off of one for some reason and okay so let's take off this other engine head and there we go manifold and this engine has a very short exhaust system it goes like directly from the engine just out yeah so it's oh, two pieces to the exhaust system it doesn't make sense to me because imagine how well considering the time this car is made it probably wouldn't matter too much would it because like old cars were kind of known for being loud big old American muscle there. They're gonna restore this car to its former glory. And let's get this power steering pump out. And timing, timing chain, there. Whole thing was getting stuck. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's get this alternator out of here to get it out of our sight. There's our uh, new filter, because I had to install one. Cause there was none. All right, here's this stupid repetitive process. With push rod engines, it's just there's so much. Also, um, it's just annoying because there's so many of these to replace that it is just kind of annoying. Push rod engines uh, have a lot of reciprocating mass, so they're not the best when it comes to balance. Cause you got all these push rods moving in and out. 
and that eh, trying to like zoom in on these things there zoom there close enough nope there finally jeez let's get this which is the engine head for this side and let's, let's go over here since I just did that process over there I'm gonna do it over here without you having to watch and the whole process is done now magic called editing it's amazing and let's get this manifold off I am showing this process because this process doesn't take too long now we need to take this spark, these uh, spark plugs out uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. How's the battery doing? Battery is kind of messed. At 37%. But I don't have to buy a new battery because there's a battery charger over to my right side. And, okay. So, now that we're down to the pistons. It seems as if we're going to need to lift this car up. So. Lift. In 3, 2, 1. Wow, magic. Okay, um, why did I just zoom back in on the car? I need to actually get under the car. Okay, now that I'm able to have access to the underside of the car, once again, let's just get this out. Now uh, we're gonna need to access the oil pan. Um, you know, screw it, I'm not draining it. As soon as I look up here, I get like buttery smooth compared to what I was getting. Eh, yeah, I don't care about the oil spill repair cost. Not repair. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. What? Okay. Rod cap. Crankshaft bearing cap. And this game just looks so much better while playing at a high frame rate. Like, if only I had a GTX 1080 Ti. I can only dream. Or cough cough computer upgrade cough cough and never actually sometime not soon but sometime I'm gonna be doing a whole system upgrade new CPU new motherboard new GPU all that stuff also Alienware oh why do you guys decide to make no room to work with inside of your computer cases like really like, if I was to try and add another GPU to my computer, like, it would be completely, almost impossible for me to try to, to actually fit the GPU in the place. Because there's so much cords and stuff around that I need, because, well, there's no room to store another hard drive in my computer, so I have to have it hanging out of my computer inside of a hard drive cage that sits outside my computer. So, there's that. And let's lower the car. Magic. Okay. Now I can take these pistons out. And there we go. Piston, piston, piston. And there we go. Piston, 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 piston. I just need to take out that crankshaft. Okay. Crankshaft gone. Engine block going to be gone. And that time I didn't edit because why not? Okay, so. Now we need to lift it back up again. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to deal with this. Um, this is kind of annoying. So. Muffler, muffler. Haha, ha, it said the letter D. Okay, time to go through this lengthy process of buying parts.
now that I've hopefully completed this, start assembling. Let's put these new mufflers on first. And now we need to put this car back on the ground. Okay, it's back on the ground. Now to shove that new engine block in there. It looks so much better. Battery, oh yeah, I gotta go charge it up. And now, I need to go put on this fuel filter. Ignition coil B, camshaft, and cam gear. Now we need to put on this ignition distributor. And that will lead to the ignition wires. And we need to put the cap on it, obviously. So this is where like the stuff connects to. And now we just put on the alternator. Now we put on the alternator. What else can we do right just right now inside of the engine bay? Okay, uh, nothing. I don't think so. So now let's lift her up again. Now I can install the gearbox currently. And I am going to change this hideous color in a minute too. Because the color of this car, absolutely hideous. And let's put this on. Clutch release bearing. Gotta have that. Now, this is a big gearbox. Like, I can only imagine, like, just looking into a front-wheel drive car, how small the gearbox is, and then comparing it to this, like, especially the tiny cars. This video is m likely going to be longer than others, because I do a ton of crap, too. Because I have to do a ton of stuff, because, like, got to get some stuff completed here. Well, then. Let's just, uh, fix that ton of stuff because because editing magic you know editing magic editing magic and uh, now we can install all these because uh, editing magic you know and uh, yeah so now let's install the oil filter now we can bring the engine back down again. I'm not the engine, the car. And the car's body is actually in good condition. Because I guess it was just stored in a garage or something like that. A little barn. Now we need to put in all these new fresh cylinders. And I also bought piston rings to go with it. Come on. Okay. And also pistons are nice to have in a car that is crap. You know, like, they're nice to have new ones. Especially when one was at 20%. Like, this engine was completely screwed. Oh, there. Click. I had to click it like 15 times. And let's get this other piston on. And right here's the engine head. And finally got that on. Now let's just real quickly go charge the battery because it's getting annoying not being able to shove the battery in there. So battery charger, charge battery, charge it. Yes, I want it to charge it. I'll take a minute to charge. But uh, yeah, I'll take a second to charge because it is pretty low. And let's start putting parts back on here. So exhaust manifold. Let's put that on. And there we go. And I forgot the starter on. I'll do that later when I have to go back onto the vehicle. So now let's put these side spark plugs on. Those are now on. Let's put this side of the engine head on. Same exact process on each side of the engine. For the main part, the engine block is symmetrical, but the engine bay is not. So, uh, OCD. 
So if someone who has OCD looks at this engine, he'll say it's fine, but if you say just look at the engine bay, he won't be. That's pretty much how that will work. I know it seems like I'm almost done, but I still got a bunch of stuff to put on here. Let's get that on. Let's get that on. And engine cover. Not engine cover. Round air filter cover. Close enough. Okay. Had a long day. Long days of not getting any sleep and staying up way too late. And now I just need to put all, in all these valve push rods. Okay, so let's put that one in. That one. So, now I need to put in these rock arms, which is the more annoying part because they have one bolt, but it's annoying to try and use. Because, like, not use, but, like, just installing it. And the next one. Now for the next one, I'm gonna time lapse it because, well, don't want you to sit through watching the same exact thing over here. And here we go. So, now let's put this engine cover on. And this engine already looks brand new. Well, just don't like the, the, sus the, sus 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 the suspension. Um, suspension right now is pretty much screwed, but pretty much the only parts that I will need to fix are like, um, wheels and tires. And also to give it more controllability. I recently just got a uh, one set of like this thing called Quality Plus One, which I have no clue what that means. Uh, it's like I opened a crate or something and then I got that. By the way, crates are things that you get for like finishing a car job. Um, like fixing a car that uh, has a repair order for it and you stupid mm, don't ask about my wallpaper okay we're back at the game um, so let's go over here take this off and put that in the engine battery 100% let's lift it up that's right, I cannot stand to see that color on this car. Just makes me want to puke. It really does make me want to puke to look at that color. Rod cap. Rod cap. My kick goes buttery smooth. I wish the game was always this buttery smooth. But this game just has terrible optimization. Like right now, I'm running on MS low settings with a $400 graphics card. Which, like, I'm running on a slow setting, so... I don't see why I'm not getting good frame rate a lot of the time at low settings. Okay. Let's get these. Because recently there's been a lot of games that haven't been optimized that well. They just haven't. Who knows, maybe it means, uh, new graphics, new graphic processors are gonna maybe be releasing soon. Who knows, maybe that's their hint. Actually, you probably know. Oh, yeah. I did it again! Okay, we're back in here. Okay, it's up. Jeez. Like, it seems like I do that so much, though. Like, I just go out, and then go back in, and it's annoying. I'm probably going to spend like 15 hours editing this video because, you know, or the whole night, because like, this is a video that needs to be edited heavily. And okay, so now that we have that in, um, I'm debating whether I should do the suspension this episode. Okay, so I'm just going to go buy all the parts for the suspension, and then we'll get that done parts needed so uh real quick let's just take a look at how the suspension is set up so in the rear i don't really need to matter about it uh okay so right here so it uses the double wishbones okay double wishbones shock absorber which means i need to take a double wishbones shock absorber and compress this thing together so let's take off this wheel 
disgusting meal. And, um, let's go in here and let's, uh, put some wheels together. Let's install this on this. And that'll be done in a second. These wheels are kind of small for this car, but I decided those wheels are too small. So let's take that off the compression. And let's put these. Wait, that's a rear spring. Front spring. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. So now we take this and we put it on the balancer. So we need to balance the 17 inch tire. And then install. We have on the 17 inch rim. And that'll automatically go with that one. And let's go over here. Take that. And this one is going to be done about now. Let's balance this one again. So now let's see. Install 17 inch. Right after this one, there's one more. Now we need balance. Okay. So that's some balancing. We'll be just about done to put everything on here. And now I'll start fixing up a little bit of the suspension that actually matters. So like brakes, that type of stuff. We don't need to take, we don't need to take too much off. Just need to make it sure everything is good. Take this off. Swiver. Front end link. Swiver front end link. Now I need to take that off. I'm gonna leave the bottom suspension arm on. Take these two things off. The suspension I'm not really gonna work too hard on because it won't matter too much. I'm just upgrading parts that actually will matter when it comes to suspension. So we have that new. This is also new. And I need to install this. This is obviously also new. Because it's shiny compared to everything else. And you put on this wheel hub. You got a new one. It Break disc. Wheel hub. Brake pads. Wheel hub cap. And here's a brake caliper. Okay. Now let's put on uh, one of these new rims. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. And we're going to do the same over here. And let's put this rim on. Let's do a star pattern for this one. Because in real life you would always do the star pattern. To make sure everything's tightened down evenly. And so right now what we're going to do is. Uh, wait. Okay so I'm pretty sure I have everything, every rim that I need right now. Maybe. Right now we're not going to focus on the rear suspension. Just give it a new drum. Going to give it a new drum. Also a shock absorber so that the car isn't going crazy while I hit a bump. And now uh, let's install the new rim on it. But did I not buy enough stuff or... Just check here. Install... May not bought enough wheels. Oh, I do have one that needs to be... Okay. There we go. I can see because I have a wheel sitting in front of my monitor, so... The wheel I use for most racing games. Or any game that involves cars that I can actually take advantage of my wheel. 
I'm just gonna take out that fuel pump while we're back here. Because we want the new fuel pump that can pump the fuel nicely. Without any issues at all. Oh, and also I forgot because I was going to replace uh, some more stuff on the other side. So, I guess I will replace it. Um, missed the stuff back here. Sorry. Drum wheel cylinder. Okay. So now we need to get this axle out of here. This thing is... Oh. This whole thing back here is an axle. Well. That's stupid. Because I'm not replacing the differential right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh wait, here's the axle. No, never mind. Got my stuff mixed up. Big shoe. Break drum. And we need to go get the next rim, but while we're doing that. So, this car actually does kind of look decent with these new wheels on it. Unless they're painting, though. Once paint the car, it'll look way better. Okay, so let's get it this stuff off here brake shoe and the cylinder not yeah the engine cylinder but brake drum cylinder everything on here drum wheel cylinder brake shoe brake drum and the rim okay and Take that off the balancer. Now I got a good rim here now. Okay. Before I even put this car in the dyno, oh, we're painting it. Oh, you. Mm, I, mo I moved this over here earlier so I wouldn't have to deal with it. Okay. You're always in my way. Just move. Okay, so paint shop and paint shop paint car I'm thinking about like a red yeah red looks pretty good on this car so I'm gonna go for not necessarily metallic let's see how pearl looks and chameleon whatever nope not that I think we'll go for pearl okay that's definitely better but before we do Let's just add some oil to the engine, and let's also replace this brake servo. Okay. Oil fill plug. Let's fill the engine to where it needs to be with the oil. Okay, there we go. Move car. Dino! Oh. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, I didn't finish the car yet. <laughs> Dumb me. Forgot that I still have half the front of the car to fix. Okay. So we're back to this process. Water pump. Yeah, I can already tell that this video is going to be heavily edited. Okay, just because there's that one part, it that's it's completely fine. Just crankshaft pulley. Um... Serpentine belt. And here is the fat radiator fan. And then what else do I need to put it in right now? Most likely nothing. But do I need to put the clips on here? Yes, I do. And the second clip. Now this will be a most likely good. So if I put everything correctly, it should make 306 horsepower. So let's see. Three hundred and four. It's probably just it's probably just because of that crankshaft pulley. But this engine is restored enough to where I can say that I have completely restored this engine. Next episode, we're going to be testing it out, doing that type of stuff. So, 
Hopefully you liked this episode, and goodbye.